Hello and welcome to this free tutorial of World of Warcraft Machinima tool. Now I'm going to take you through just the basic steps of the camera tool or Machinima tool. Uh, the first things first, when you're going to download it, remember always, always download it from my page. Um, even though I said you're not allowed to post this anywhere else, someone might do it and um, they might put a keylogger in there or something like that. Always download it from maddox.dk just to make sure right there. So that's the first step. When you have downloaded the World of Warcraft Machinima tool, then remember you have to be in game and playing when you use it. You, so don't use it when you're at the login screen, don't use it when you're at the character selection screen, you have to be in game where you can play around. And first there you open the camera tool, right? So else it won't work, so just, just do that. Then you're greeted with this nice little screen here. We got uh, just to see over here. We got a transparent button, so we can see through the uh, user interface a bit. In case you want that, I usually leave it off. Um, so that was just that. So let me take you through this first uh, fane here. There are different fanes here: camera, costume settings, costume environment. See, environment means uh, costume environment waypoints for the waypoint based camera in the new shader section. So just go to base uh, see about this uh, first camera thing here. So the first feature we see is spectate mode. Spectate mode is like spectate mode in any other game. When you hit spectate mode you are allowed to just freely fly around with your camera any way you want. There's no limitations for that. Um, and there is a little but, and that is, this is not a fly hack or something like that. As you maybe can see here, there is, uh, uh, yeah, right there, uh, there's a little dark area, and this is actually my shadow, my personal shadow. So when I move the camera around, my character is still located right there. So if I, like, I have clicked to move on, so if I press here, you can see my, my shadow is actually moving around down there, if you can see that, just here, as you can see, it's moving right there. So my body is actually there, and what does that mean? That means that when I fly over here, for example, you can see there's NPCs here and stuff like that, and then when I move over here, they are not loaded, because my character is still located there, and I can only see the NPCs around in that area. So remember that, always be in, in, uh, in the area you want to record. If you're going to record any NPCs and stuff like that. If you don't want them around, then you could just fly around. But just, if you're going to record in, for example, Tenaris, uh, then move down there and move in the area around to record, and then just hit uh, talk to spectate mode. Because then you can move there um, and see it. And you cannot see your body when you're in spectate mode. Uh, let's just, and when you tur turn off spectate mode and on again, you get back to your, uh, your character. So that's an easy way to do it. The next setting gap is set spectate speed. Spectate speed allows you to set the speed of the camera when you're flying around. So if you set it to 100, for example, then the camera flies around really fast like this. It's good for traveling around and, um, well, if you're going to make some really, really huge pans or something like that, it's good for that, but nothing else, really. Anyway, we can also set it back to like one and then we got really cool slow pants if we're going to use that. And that's usually what you do, set it down to a low value so you can you know, record like this. It's really cool. So we set it back to 10 which is the default value. The next setting is toggle camera clipping. Now normally when you move around here and you go into uh, the ground or trees or something like that, uh, not that particular tree, but uh, this one for example, you will collide with the tree. And uh, I made an option so you can t toggle off that clipping. So if you turn here and toggle cl camera clipping, we are now able to move both through the VMO objects and also the terrain. So we can move anywhere we want. This is really cool if you're going to just move around some, uh, some spots that are really narrow or stuff like that. 
The next feature we have is um, target relative and target free. The first thing I'm going to show is target free. Target free, when we uh, select an NPC, let's just see right there, and target free, then the camera target will always be the, the NPC we have selected when we hit the target free. So I can still fly around like spectate mode, but the camera will always face that NPC or that player, for example. And that will make some uh, cool uh, target shots and stuff like that. Then we have target relative. Target relative is mostly the same thing, but it will move the camera position also relative to the um, to the NPC. So let's just toggle off spectate mode. The next one is the camera functions here. Uh, just going to show you. Normally, when we are uh, in game we are not allowed to zoom out more than this, for example. We can also go into the interface settings and set the max camera distance a little bit up. That allows us to just zoom a little bit more, but nothing more than this. And if we're going to make a mass shot over area, well, we cannot really do that. So with this feature, remove zoom prod, it actually means remove zoom protection. And protection is the uh, protection that uh, protects the camera from actually moving any further. So we've removed that protection. It allows us to zoom out as much as we want. You know, we can just zoom all day and it will just keep on zooming out. So there's no limit here uh, on how much you want to zoom. And uh, if we want to go back, it takes a little while because it's of course a certain speed. But if you just hit remove zoom protection off and then zoom out, it will go back to the before precision. So that's a good one. And I think I should actually stop the tutorial here because the next mod... yeah, I think. So uh, that was that for just the first basic tutorial. I'm going to make another one just in a second. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this and see ya!